Hello, I'm Myra Jacobs, founding director of the National Bone Marrow Transplant Link. Thank you for viewing our webcasts on meeting the challenges of chronic graft versus host disease in children and adolescents. We are very appreciative of the National Marrow Donor Program for its support of this project. You are now viewing Part 2, Families Coping with Chronic GVHD in Children and Adolescents. We have created these webcasts for parents of children currently dealing with chronic GVHD, as well as for parents of children considering transplant and wanting to know more about chronic GVHD. We wish to thank Lynn Hardesty and parents Brent, Kathy, and Dana for their participation and sharing their experiences. Please be sure to fill out the survey at the end of this webcast. We appreciate your feedback and ideas. They will help us in the development of future programs. Hello, I'm Lynn Hardesty and I'm the social worker for the Bone Marrow Transplant Program at Children's National Medical Center in Washington, D.C. Our presentation today is focused on families coping with chronic graft-versus-host disease specifically related to children and adolescents. During this presentation, we will offer practical information about coping with chronic graft-versus-host disease and the perspectives of several parents whose children have CGVHD. During my social work career, some of my best teachers have been children, teenagers, and their parents. And today, my presentation will share with you some of what I've learned from them and others, and my own thoughts about families living with CGVHD. Specifically, this presentation will focus on accepting the challenges that chronic graft-versus-host disease brings into family life, understanding parents' roles in managing CGVHD, describing available resources, and sharing stories from parents who are already on this journey. As patients, parents, and family members, you've already worked your way through the diagnosis and treatment for the underlying medical condition. You completed the rigorous process of bone marrow transplant and may have felt that the hard days were finally behind you. And then symptoms developed and persisted, and you received the diagnosis of chronic graft versus host disease. As you think about how to manage this new treatment experience, there are steps and skills that can help you feel more in control and feel more successful. I'm going to discuss the importance of these six skills and then you'll hear from some parents who have become experts in this field through their own experiences. As you begin to deal with CGVHD, it's normal to feel that everything has changed again and to feel disoriented and emotionally off balance. Some parents describe feeling like they're on an emotional roller coaster. You're once again beginning a treatment journey. You're working toward cure and symptom relief for your child and also for some control and stability for yourself and your family. In order to start working toward emotional healing and to be able to problem solve successfully, it's important to start by acknowledging the facts of your situation. Chronic graft versus host disease was unexpected and the future is uncertain. Treatment may help, but symptoms may persist for a long time. You have you may have very strong feelings of sadness, frustration, worry, even guilt, and you know very well that there are many hard tasks ahead. If this seems overwhelming, please remember that there is help available. It's helpful when facing a big challenge to break it down into smaller tasks and recognize that success comes by mastering one step at a time. The journey begins with accepting the challenges although often we feel we really have no choice, and then working on developing these skills of being informed, learning to be an effective advocate, working to be as flexible as possible, becoming aware of resources, and learning to be good to yourself. Gathering information is often a good way to start. Make sure you understand chronic graft-versus-host disease 
and the treatments that the medical team is recommending. Think about how these will affect your child's life and the life of your family in terms of daily schedules, school, work, and activities. Recognize that there are a variety of resources for you to use in seeking information, including talking with other families who've experienced CGVHD. Look for medical information and also for social and emotional information from your treatment team in order to understand all of the impact that treatment might have. 